hi everyone okay let's provide the solution here this is x y okay by the way this is my equation too right let me let me write it better this is x plus y equals 8 equation 1 okay then we have x y equals 6 equation 2 we are going to solve this simultaneously because one equation two unknowns okay so we need to combine both of them so that we can solve them simultaneously now from the first equation we can have x to be equal to 8 minus y this is obtained from equation 1 and then we shall call it equation 3 so that when we have the value of y we will put it right into equation 3 to get the value of x now what do we do let's put this one right into equation 2 and if we do that this x in equation 2 will turn to 8 minus y and then this y here will come over here this is equal to 6 from equation 2 open the bracket so that we have 8 times y that is 8y then minus y times y that is y squared this is equal to 6 now we write minus y squared first this is plus 8y and then bring this to the left it becomes minus 6 and then we equate it to 0 and this is going to give us a quadratic equation in fact this is already a quadratic equation but we need to remove this negative from here so that if we do that we shall have y squared then this negative will turn every other sign you know we'll change it to the other side from um from the um positive to negative and then from negative to positive right this is equal to zero we do not have anything like negative zero or positive zero now let's solve this what two numbers do we multiply to get six and we add them up to get minus eight now even if this is factorizable or if probably it's not factorizable but then if you're not sure whether it is or not you should use the formula and the formula is y equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac this is over what 2a see that this is what we call the quadratic general formula then let's put in our a b c y will now be a is 1 b is minus 8 and c is 6 so in place of minus b i'm going to write minus 8 and the negative will counter each other as we have positive 8 then plus or minus the square root of b squared which is going to be minus 8 squared and minus 8 squared is giving us 64 okay oh it's supposed to be minus right this minus then we have 4 times a is 1 and c is 6 right let's take a step further remember how i got the 64 minus 8 squared 64 this is over 2 times 1 so let's break it again y will now be 8 plus or minus we have the square root of 64 minus 24 4 times 1 times 6 is 24 over 2 times 1 which is 2 now what do i do 64 here is a perfect square but you don't have to find its square root separately simplify before you find the square root so y is equal to 8 plus or minus the square root of 64 minus 24 will give us 40 right and then we divide this by 2 now we can try to find the square root of 40 but i don't want to use calculator for this so i'm not using calculator to get the square root of 40 what i will do is to simplify what we have over there i want us to bring out the 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 highest perfect square that is a factor of 40. okay and that is going to be to be 4 right 
then multiply the 4 by 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 20 okay 4 by 10 multiply the 4 by 10 to get to your 40 10 here is not a perfect square but 4 is so we divide this by 2 now let's go ahead so that we can find the square root of 10 the square root of 4 and leave 10 under the root okay so y now is equal to 8 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 then we have root 10 this is divided by 2 so that if we proceed now we don't add this or subtract because this root um this 2 is attached to the root 10 so you can separate okay the only thing you can do is to divide both sides or divide by 2 to remove that just like we are going to do now so our y now is 8 over 2 plus or minus 2 root 10 over 2 this will go here so y is equal to 4 plus or minus this will go there so we have root 10 so to go ahead now we will break this into two to say that y is equal to 4 plus root 10 or 4 minus root 10 and then remember that we left out equation 3 before which is x equals 8 minus y now our x is going to be 8 minus open bracket for the y the first value 4 plus root 10 if you open the bracket you shall have x to be 8 minus 4 minus root 10 okay and then at the end of the day our x is going to be 4 minus root 10 remember when x is this y is 4 plus root 10 okay now let's get the other value of um y and put into this same equation x equals 8 minus y so x now will be 8 minus the second value of y is c it over there 4 minus root 10 so here i'll write open bracket 4 minus root 10 right so that x will be equal to 8 minus 4 plus root 10 the negative is to open the bracket and our x is equal to 8 plus root 10 okay and at the end of the day when x is equal to this y is by the way this is 4 okay so when x is equal to this y is 4 minus root 10 so by this we have solved the equation completely thank you for watching and if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe so you can always have access to more of my videos